Hello doll friends, this is Michael Canadas with the Grovian Doll Museum and Carmel Doll Shop. We are back to share one of our many treasures in the Grovian Doll Museum collection. Um, she lives in a little crowded case, so you may not have noticed her. But in our theme, dolls that, as the mighty fundraiser, most people would think of dolls of the Civil War era as um, the mighty fundraisers, which they were. But there was fundraising going on at least a couple hundred years before that. And where we see representation in miniature form of some of the earliest uh, fundraising is dolls that would be, be in charity bazaars. So a, a sanitary fair was for the United States Sanitary Commission or for Florence Nightingale's uh, projects in, in England. But in England and America, there were things called charity bazaars, and they could have been put on by cities, uh, ladies' groups, churches, etc. So let me explain to you what a, a charity bazaar was. It's like our modern day craft fair, except at a charity bazaar, the person that would be running the stand, they would be gathering and creating the items. And usually they were ladies of a high social status. And of course, the charity bazaar would then have a patron that could be um, the Duchess of Kent or, or some, some notable person. So they would set up their stalls at a charity bazaar just like this. And so you can see we have a Grodner Tall, which really, let's be real, they're, they're extremely desirable now, but at the time that they were originally created, they were about as cheap as you come. But they have an incredible charm, and this has all been set up as a stall in a charity bazaar. A lot of times with these items, you can see that the person that put it together had a speciality, such as uh, stationery or toys or um, um, toiletry items. Um, this seller is a uh, generalist. Uh, we have lots of very interesting things, like for instance, here is a paint set, because all uh, ladies, like say for instance, Princess Victoria and Queen, later Queen Victoria was a very accomplished artist. That was part of a girl's education. Then we have a, a sewing uh, box with all kinds of very tiny sewing items. And of course we have uh, her library, bibliotheque of miniature boo books. And these items, as far as I can see, except for maybe one or two, they're handmade. So this, this representation of a charity bazaar seller could have indeed been sold at a charity bazaar. Then we have our, um, this is probably a uh, knife box that would, you would keep your knives in it or spoons, something you'd lock up. And then we, here we have some kind of, I'm not sure what it is, uh, wrapped up. And then, of course, a wonderful little tiny wooden and of course, beadwork was extremely popular in the, this is like the first quarter of the 19th century. It was very popular. And then of course, seashells, we think of them as a very common thing to find now. Most people at this time didn't go 10 miles from their home. So if you weren't close to the ocean, that would be a really phenomenal item. And this may be a commercially made little um, uh, German wooden piece. And then I'm not sure what this is, but they've clearly put glass glitter on it. Kind of interesting. And then we have a little bit of millinery. And this is a molded uh, cardboard hat that's then uh, had some glitter put on it. And again, some exceptional beadwork, really beautiful, tiny little beads. And of course, poetry and literature 
was very important. And there's a beautiful saying here. We will, we will do an up-close shot for you to, so that you can read. It's quite lovely. And then draped tables seem like a new thing if you're going to a trade show, but I'm sure this lady had to make her own uh, drape for her table. And then, of course, some beautiful, again, some beautiful poetry on a, this is, although this appears to be paper, this is a little piece of silk, which is amazing. A little handmade book and a, um, a ch little checkerboard. And she is ready, um, eager to make her sales for her charity. Um, maybe it's for um, St. Bartholomew's Hospital. This was some benevolent cause that they had. But what I think is interesting is if I turn this around, it has interest in the back. So she has her tall tabaret. If she gets um, tired, she can have a little sit which I don't think sitting at um, a, a, a venue is a good idea if you want to engage with the clientele. Oh, and then I forgot this little dollhouse. And that I'm sure that was, was made for this, this whole um, um, assemblage. Now, I think that this, this base is um, really early, um, early, early 19th century. And it was probably repurposed for this whole uh, creative uh, process. But the thing about why I'm sharing this for you, with you is that within everybody's collection, they probably have a doll or two or three that have to do with fundraising and making the world a better place. And dolls have been very represent, representative of these noble causes. So, bye doll friends, we'll be back a little later. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.